Hey yo! Hey yo! From two hundred to like four thousand, like quick. Jeez, ridiculous! I don't even. I'm just taking it all in. Honestly, I just been enjoying performing for everybody. It's been fun. What's up with your fans though? Like, is it, is it me or the security guards beating up all your fans? Like, Playboy, I saw Ken Carson. They knock, they knock out the other day. Like, what's up with your fans? Y'all be hugging them after? Y'all be chasing them? Like, we love our fans. They but... die hard like that. They, they, they don't they know that on stage is like a no go. Like anything can happen. Some people don't, and I, I love it so much. Like, unfortunately, yeah, just get knocked the fuck out. But <laughs> it, it's like it shows like get this love so much this girl love me so much they can't even control that shit they just like bro i gotta run up here like that's fucking so they'll sick. take they'll, they'll take a chance of paralysis or what? or or neck like what i'll be seeing yo you guys have the most beat down on fuck especially like cardi's all love though. cardi's on he getting wrecked yo he be out there hugging him he picked up one time mm -hmm. took him to the back like i was like oh, yeah, these fans are crazy man they're that they're that die hard huh they're, they're crazy. the best though you see? I met a girl in Target yesterday and she like literally burst out screaming damn near about to cry like that what? shit don't be happening no more bro that yeah. shit is crazy uh, how many um like titties did you sign this year did you count I ain't signed no titties yet that's really lame as fuck so y'all need to start pulling y'all tits out I ain't yeah, trying to be rude but yeah. I'm just saying I'm I want to sign some titties hell yeah little, little titties <laughs> fuck yeah. I love all size titties oh, okay Titties. <laughs> Rich Montana's not looking for you. Like, you know, you, you gotta hit right I'm here. missing Don't all stylish. stylish. <laughs> uh, I ain't never even, I ain't never heard that song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm joking, man. Anyway, Me too. Anyway. <laughs> Do y'all laugh at the cheat code beats when they bring them in there? Yeah, yeah, that shit's trash. <laughs> Bro, I've had, like, when the a and R try to play you a beat, they're like, oh, this was going right now. You like, need to get on this. This is why man, it's hot. No, bro. It never worked? Never, ever got on a All single work? one of those, Never bro. works, huh? Mm -mm. Bad work. I think it's a better look if you take, like, risks on something totally different and you just be in that box on your own. You're right, but you also got an artist who mm. probably not as versatile. To oh, so it's like, that. for you to be taking a risk... Like, if I'm taking a risk every studio session. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Then I feel like that's what we're on. Like yeah, we're that's taking a saying. risk every studio <laughs> session. Like, it's like whatever. We gonna, we're we getting to the next song, really. Mm. You want to make everything. Like, we have everything made. Like, of every other artist, we didn't made that shit ourselves already. <laughs> so it's like, how the fuck can you make something that somebody ain't, ain't make? And that's what the hell we be on. Like. I mean, it doesn't help the fact that you hang with Cardi, who thinks 30 years ahead. Like, Jesus. Yeah, that's that's for sure. But honestly, bro, me and this nigga got our very much our own brains. Like, honestly. So it's like Voltron. Y'all all go. Ch -ch -ch, we, all bro, splitting. Opium, bro, is, bro, Homicide Gang, Playboy Cardi, and King Carson. It's mm. Cardi label, but it's, it's all of us, bro. It's all four of us. Like, mm. we work together and put this shit together. It ain't like Cardi. No, it's all of us. Like, we Opium. I know it's like a. A nightmare because your tour is going on for like months, man. Like, when the fuck you getting back? You going overseas and shit? Fuck, your shit bro, ends in keep fucking. Going. When your shit in Italy too? It ends in fucking twenty thirty eight. <laughs> <laughs> we going no stylish to the end of time. When you go back to Italy, I always see you like, mm, like you, gotta bro, that, you gotta taste that shit. You know what I'm saying? Takes the fuck out of that shit. Man. You know what I'm saying? What? 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 <laughs> New project, man. You know, the fans are annoying me to death. If looks can kill, like, mm -hmm. if keep, looks can it's, kill. Un, it's under wraps. Is uh... yeah, because with that shit, I'm 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 fully allowing myself to be a destroyer. Like, honestly, I feel mm. like 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 with no styles, I had to make a statement because I wasn't allowed to release music for a certain period of time. People thought I was doing that intentionally, but I had a situation. So 
the whole time that was happening, I was evolving musically. Like I make music every day of my life. So mm-hmm. within those two years, I reached the point where I was in a whole another place. But I had songs like some of the songs on that style are like two years old, three, four years old or whatever. Oh, wow. So it's like I just wanted to show people like, bro, I'm I can I'm making music. This is how I sound and this is how I can sound for people to fucking accept it because everybody's fucking stupid, like I said. And now <laughs> with if looks could kill, I'm fucking showing people <laughs> that I'm going to do what I want this there time. And I don't care if y'all like it or not. And I don't mean that to be arrogant, mm. but I'm just saying like people don't really like to accept new things all the time. And I feel like that's kind of slow. But they do put you in that box of I don't give a fuck music. Like, do, like definitely, yeah. but it's still like there's a lot of people who don't understand it and they don't want to understand it. But it's like, bro, you gotta understand this shit. Not just this music or that music or underground or whatever the fuck. This shit is music, bro. And music evolves. Like just because a nigga was here or was this age or whatever, that don't mean nothing, bro. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I'm making music just like any other motherfucker that's making music. Like I hate when people box this shit in. But I think it's unfair with you guys because. I think your fans have to grow with you. Your fans. I can't. I can't just be a fan today. Like if I didn't know what you did three years ago, and I feel like you could though. But that's, I mean, I, I'm not talking about the young kids. I'm talking about a dickhead nigga like me. Like I'm talking about like you know old head. But that's that's the problem, and that's yeah. what we Thank trying you. to change. Because it's like, bro, like well, not me. I know y'all. Nigga not shit, you, nah, yeah. I'm, I'm not talking, talking, I'm talking, I'm talking about. Kid, I'm talking about the other old the niggas. average thirty year old <laughs> nigga who looking at this yeah. shit like, what the fuck is these niggas mm-hmm. doing? That's some closed minded, ignorant shit, bro. Like, cause when niggas was popping out doing kid and play whatever the fuck weird ass shit was going on niggas was fucking with that shit bro yeah, so it was like like I was what doing, I was like, like, that, was okay shit. that shit was yeah, dumb as fuck yeah, niggas was. Was yeah, that so it's like you gotta fuck with this or don't fuck with it but this the new shit and this was going on bro like mm. it's 2022 it's 10 years and shit uh, uh. maybe we might we i don't know but we here right now so niggas gotta fuck with this shit i need the one-on-one how you were like chosen like <laughs> how did they pick you was it like a like some kind of ceremony or some shit. Like I feel like it's just you know what I'm saying. Like the Avatar, every couple of years, somebody got to come do this shit. <laughs> oh God, it. So it's the transition of hip hop. Yeah, it's my turn. It's me and my gang turn. It's okay. that turn. A lot of hard work. I've seen you over the years, like rolling louds and small fucking shows, and yeah, here and there, free shit, a whole all bunch of free shit for show. Sure. All paid shit off. Costs now. So on, on one of your songs, you say you see money and uh, you can't count it because it's coming too fast. I mean, how much money you got now? You got all the bitches though. <laughs> no, I, ain't hoes getting, right now, I, ain't, I ain't getting no money. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't getting no money, bro. No doubt. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I don't, you know, but how, how was the, the the choosing process? Like, you know, is, is there a choosing process to get down with Playboy or man? Nah, bro, it ain't none of that, bro. It's yeah. just it's just all real, bro. Like I'm real, my gang real. So what they be saying real, recognize real. I feel like you, ye, all these other guys. I don't. <laughs> do y'all give a fuck about these people out here? You fuck. You give a fuck I, about regular people. I give a fuck about life. Oh, okay. And I definitely give a fuck about rap music and shit. Cause mm. shit, I'm a rapper. But it's like. I don't know, do my own thing, but I feel like it's times like where shit gotta be pushed for it. People gotta push shit for it. We push shit for it. I'm pushing shit for it. That's all I'm here for. I I respect everything before, but shit, we can do some new shit too. But the fact that you 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 jumped in a pool of being ahead of the game like ten years ahead, your tracks are like, I feel like I'm in fucking Pulp Fiction and Ain't Mission Impossible. Lie. Like the beats are like I'm in a movie. Like <laughs> I've been doing this shit for going on like ten years, bro. So it's like it ain't really like no. I so just, there wasn't thought. There was no thought process like that. Nah, I kind of knew I had a plan for this shit when I started doing this shit, and I'm just acting on my plan. Honestly, personally, me, I look at life like my life good. I'm I'm straight. I I'm the top four boss. Looking at society though, if I'm being completely honest, I think everybody's fucking stupid. So it's like. I just live in my own world because uh, shit, shit be working for me. I mean, when you guys get together and y'all create music, do y'all talk like, this is just fucked up, this war is like fucked up president. We talk about everything, but it's like... People dying and all kinds of shit, like... <clears throat> bro, it's like, bro, it's like... Mm, that shit's going on, and I still got life to live as well. Mm. And the only way I could even try to change any of that is just by using my voice and i rap about whatever the hell i be rapping about sometimes when i make music or when we making music or whatever i might talk about a piece or whatever but honestly i don't think that's what i'm here for so that's not I'm, I'm, 
<laughs> I mean, uh, randomly, you used to look up to like a lot of punk bands and stuff. Yeah. Like, where did that come about? Like, you're in Atlanta. Like, bruh, I spent a lot of time on the internet. You're young. Like, I was you're outside child, as well, but it's yeah. like, bruh, I got hella influences. Like, I watch movies. I listen to music. I don't let my, like, I'm not a closed-minded person. Like, and my grandparents and my parents definitely was letting, letting me do a whole bunch of shit and be influenced by a bunch of shit in the best way, not in the crazy way. So it's like, with that shit, with the rock music and shit, it's just like, I kind of was just searching for shit that resonated with me, and I, I ended up liking that shit. Uh, sex pistols and yeah you even named one of the joints crystal castles on crystal castles the cure a whole bunch of randomized bands i just like music honestly deftones you sample them like yeah how do you clear all that shit like you, we you got know. it clear it's me <laughs> like it's literally me bro <laughs> wow that's crazy but you don't even remember when the cow is when i mean who put you on that shit was it somebody that put you on the music no i put bro everything Honestly, everything other in my life, I put myself on too, or I was inspired by like my friends. Like I got people like this nigga next to me, and like people who we all think like on the same like wavelength. So we mm. inspire each other and put each other on the shit. But honestly, now nah, I popped out this shit with my own brain, and nobody really showed me too much. Yes. I, I said earlier, Travis Scott was like got me into all that transitioning. There's like four beats in one. And <laughs> It's just like, I don't know, like, when I first started making music, I was just like, shit, I'm trying to make this shit as different as possible. But, like, not on some, like, I'm going to be the most different nigga, but I want to make sure that I'm making music in the way I want to make it because I see it like art. So I ain't really, like, following, like, the rules of rap or the rules of whatever to make my music. Mm. I'm making whatever the fuck I want to make when I want to make it. Yo, man, I, I just want to be in the studio just once just to see how you guys put shit together. <laughs> It's what, kinda what, crazy. What, what's the process? Is it weed first? Or is it like is it like weed everywhere and, I ain't even gonna and lie, water like, and shit? What do you I be feeling like yeah, we got water. We do drink a lot of water. Oh, yeah, y'all look like some water ass <laughs> niggas here. You know but I feel like it's um it's us first, bro. Like we just so like I feel like me and my gang, we all superheroes. So when we pull up on each other, it's all we got our own energies and powers and shit that we bring to the table. So we just be bouncing off each other, like nigga just be like, Let's make a song. We make a song, we all I don't know how we be on the same page. We just all together. And I'm not saying this in an ignorant way, but we ain't trying to think too deep about it. Like, we're making music with a purpose and we're doing this shit with a purpose, but we just having fun, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, the first part of this shit is having fun, I feel like, 100%. So we ain't worried about how niggas going to perceive it. We ain't worried about fans talking about, we want this song, whatever. We, ain't, we don't give a fuck about none of that shit. We're doing whatever the fuck we want to do. Mm -hmm. You toured uh, first with Play, and now you, you just did uh, Ken Carson. I mean... What did you get from like that and to create your your set or your i learned how to do this shit for my brother easy huh hell yeah i feel like if i didn't do that shit, i would not be performing how i'm performing now <laughs> <laughs> i was bro when i was on the king them too i was scared shit. Like, this nigga tell you and i was only doing one song and i was bro. scared out of my mind so it was like i had to do you that type scared, of yo? scared, <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> <laughs> like that shit is crazy so i definitely had to go through that and i appreciate them for letting me do that with them yo r.i.p virtual man yeah, you're so heavy in fashion man what, what do you got yeah. on today what you got on today um Put a nigga I feel like on. if i tell y'all what i got on today it might be a little controversial but see i got on some black shit oh, for real okay. <laughs> i got on black clothes oh okay yeah <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, let's stay out of that. Yeah, let's stay out of that. <laughs> um, dealing with Virgil, you never met Virgil before? I never met Virgil. I okay. wish I got the chance to. I think he's fucking sick, but nah, I never got to meet him. Uh, you were recently at uh, the Alex. You, you you walked on there. How was that? Yeah, that was fire. That's my first time ever walking the runway. I honestly love fashion way more mm -hmm. than I love music. So it's like, that was the best shit that ever happened to me. And I want you know to Matthew? You, you I know Matthew you? very well. That's, okay. That's a very close friend of mine. I got my merch right now is, is uh, Elite's collab. And we about to release it on the internet too. But like, I'm definitely like destroying Lonely Elite's. That's what I'm selling on my wow, tour. Wow, man. So yeah, that shit's getting big. But I, I'm trying to get into fashion for real, like, like real like model status and just like really taking that shit over, building my own fashion house what, and shit. What, was that the first time you were in Milan? Yeah, hell yeah. How was it over there? El Dente? That was spaghetti. sick. I love it. I like risotto. Oh, okay. Yeah. That shit's fire. Isn't that weird? They be chopping that shit up. That shit's like little bits and shit. Like, little so I hate sauce and all that, little I like butter. it. It's player. It's yeah. cool. Did you go, like, when you nah, taste it? Me, I'm on everything. He know that. <laughs> like, I'm, wait, I'm eating all of it. Give me that. I don't give a fuck if it's weird. What? That's a bug. Yeah, let go. Yo, yo, Ken, <laughs> yo, yo, Ken, you, were, yo, Ken you were there? You were there in Italy, too? You were there? 
Okay. We weren't there together, but he went to. Oh, okay. So how was it? Like <laughs> when you taste the, the salt the saltiness of it? Mine was in London. So. Oh yeah, talk talking to Mike real quick since you hear. Mine been... was in London, so it was oh. like it was like kind of different. Oh. London food, I feel like everything is diet or something. But they don't. When that... you leave America, <laughs> let me tell. <laughs> let me alive. give everybody a, a, a <laughs> what you call it a motherfucking let's say like a warning. Like <laughs> when you leave this motherfucking country, you want to leave this motherfucking country so bad, bro. You leave this country, bro. Fool gonna taste like shit, bro. <laughs> I like it. It's just they not allowed Ass, to put bro. the same I'm not shit gonna in lie to you. <laughs> He love all food. I don't, bro. I don't care, bro. You can put anything on his plate, bro. He gonna eat it, bro. <laughs> For real. So uh, I mean, what's what's the weirdest shit you be eating? Like frog legs and shit like that. Definitely be eating frog legs. Yeah, alligator, yeah. octopus, bro, squid. You can name it. He, oh, he ate it, bro. Oh god, god damn, frog legs though. Like you actually that's not that like, bad. That's not that bad, but I don't like it that much either. Man, oh my god! So no veganism in the next five years. I know you mapping. Nah, hell no! I'm definitely trying to go vegan. I'll be on my healthy shit. Oh yeah, we I see you drinking the shit. shit out of that water. I'm trying right to here. get cut. I'm on my goddamn you know hot bod. <laughs> <laughs> no bap. That's me. <laughs> 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 Hey yo! Hey yo! <laughs> nah, yo, bro, I'm sorry. I'm being very tired. That was just funny as hell, bro. But now nah, I get exactly what you're saying. Nah, I love Clayco to death. But I mean, he did give you your first hit, I think, right? Nah, that was for me. For okay. On bang. But that's what I'm saying. It ain't like no, he gave me nothing, bro. I curate all my music, my fucking okay. self. I'm a producer. I just don't know how to make fucking beats. But every beat that I've ever sampled, everything I've ever did, I've done that. I tell Clayco to make the beat, and we work together and do it. I pick the sounds, oh, okay. whatever. So it's like we a team. Me and Clayco, like we a band. I like to say, hmm. but it's like we. This is like a a machine together. Like I got my own set of producers. We call it underwear, but I created the sound out of my brain and they just can put it on the computer for me. Oh, okay. So you just come in there with the ideas. And yeah. They just like do it fresh, like right in front of everybody. Exactly. Like click see right behind me. I rap like the engineer probably like right here. I'm sitting right next to the engineer rapping in the booth. Click sitting right behind me making a beat. I turn around. Yo, sample this shit, make the beat. They're doing like 10 minutes. I pull up the beat, <laughs> rap on like five minutes and then a song over with. I got a weird question for y'all. Like twenty thirty, who's gonna be the OGs? Because all the old old niggas gonna be dead. So who's gonna be the OG now? Who's gonna be we like, starting this new shit. We the OGs. Saying. We the first. So you're, so you're definitely gonna be on. You know how they be like top five lists in twenty. I ain't gonna lie. We gonna be on every top five list. Ooh, and we take every you hear this shit, man. And I'm not letting no young nigga come in this shit. You know whatever we no, want. <laughs> no, we ain't doing none of that, bro. Like, nah, bro. Yeah, we own all that old nigga shit, bro. What? 2022, we came in, took it over. Yeah, yeah, nigga knew. I, I don't like that. What's that noise? All that. Yeah, we own all that shit, bro. Like, <laughs> but it, but it's, it's crazy. A lot of kids were saying that you know, like, like, like Playboy, like Playboy is definitely gonna be like an OG. 100. percent Um, well, I got a list here, like a uh, little Yachty. I mean, I guess Kanye West would still be if he still didn't get killed Kanye, by the fucking... Kanye didn't went through a couple generations. That's what I'm saying, but I feel like he's still like 20 years ahead. Like 100%. But that's 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 a nigga that's like crazy, bro. A nigga like Kanye, a nigga like Cardi, bro. These niggas who done... Like, I feel like people who can change with the world is people mm. who are going to take this shit over. Like, think of like Cardi like five years ago. Think of Kanye when he first came out. And like, think of these niggas now, bro. These people evolved, bro. And then you got people who come for a time and they stay in that time and then they don't exist no more. Like... People gotta evolve and grow. That's why, like, like somebody just said, like, when they heard Playboy Cardi shit, that new album, they thought they was old or whatever. But mm. it's like, bro, you gotta accept that people try and push shit forward. This ain't gonna be the hip hop, hip hop, hop. This ain't that, bro. It's not. It's never gonna be that again, bro. Like, like ever in life. I feel like the thing with that is though that a lot of people don't appreciate what my brother did. Is like, bro, it take a nigga to make an album like that for people mm. to accept what we doing. Like, honestly, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's what people don't get. Like, mm. somebody got to be nigga to everybody. Like, bro, this shit trash. And they be like, wait, this shit hard. So then they be like, oh, wait, this hard and this hard and this hard. Because niggas ain't never heard it before. It could have been him. It could have been me with no stylus. It could have been him with X. It could have been whatever time or whatever. But he just happened to be the nigga to do it. God bless. But it's like, some guys show people some before niggas can accept other shit. Is, is hip hop dangerous for you guys? It seems to be dangerous in the other genres out there. Everybody's like, they're saying hip hop is the most dangerous business. Is it dangerous in your, how do y'all view death? Yeah, I'm, I'm y'all click. Do y'all talk about stuff like that? Hell nah, cause we all wanna be alive forever. But yeah. I genuinely feel like 
anything is dangerous and being black for sure in America mm. is dangerous and being a young nigga from Atlanta is dangerous and we all three of them so this shit dangerous. Oh wow. That's crazy, <laughs> man. Was take was was take off like a, a big influence to you or or like I it? fuck with take, yeah. but it's just bro, every time shit like that happened, bro, I just be like, damn, bro. Like up, yeah. I just gotta keep getting through this motherfucker, bro. Mm. Shit crazy. I mean, people are dying like all the time. Do you, I mean, do you feel I mean subliminally you have to like Fix your mind to keep moving. Hell nah, cause honestly, bro, I think of life so differently. Like, bro, people got day timelines. That's not that's mm. not my life, unfortunately. Like, I'm going my way. Whatever fuck happened to me, whenever fuck happened to me, that's God forbid. But like, I ain't never gonna let. Like, I don't be thinking about shit like that. Mm. That shit is bad. I don't. I be thinking positive. I want to get all the money, fuck all the hoes, put on all the clothes. I ain't I know, never gonna man. die. Like, yeah, man. I ain't dying. What do you what, what do you call hoes? Is there a name for them? Like, yeah. oh, okay. Like, we used to call them moisture in G. In G in the click. We like, hey, what is that, bro? <laughs> we used to call them moisturizers, moisture, fizzle. Yo, y'all don't have no piss cleaners. <laughs> piss the cleaners, speed, drop oh, top, convertible. Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck. Wait, the hell, we just gonna get crazy? Humidifiers, I don't know, like, you know, I don't know. Kindergarten mouth, I don't know. Hoes, we call them hoes. Okay, I don't know. Same thing everybody else calling eaters. Codes, uh, is there any codes in your clique? Like, you know. Like, like little words? Like, uh, I don't know. We wouldn't tell you no codes. Yeah, what the hell we tell y'all? That's crazy. <laughs> It's our game, bro. Yeah, I'm trying to get some information out of you guys. You guys are so on the low, you know what I'm saying? Nah, no information here. <laughs> Honestly, we don't really do too much. Holy I wake shit. up, you know what I'm saying? I got my little nine to five job. <laughs> Put on my black tie, drive Whoa. my little car to work, and go back home and go to sleep. You get a nine to five. TikTok was running your Bane song like non Fuck TikTok. fucking stop, man. They blew that shit like to the fucking. I do appreciate that. Fear, yeah. <laughs> but it's like, I don't know, bro. That shit, I don't are you really... sick? Are you sick of that song? Are you no, sick? I love it. You okay. talking about nostalgia yeah. or Bane? Bane. Bane, I hate Bane to death. That's one <laughs> I genuinely do not like that song. I made a song when I was 17 years old. But I appreciate that shit. But I hate, I don't like, I don't like that style of music. Bro. I don't like people blowing shit up. And like, <laughs> Hell no. Nah. I don't believe in it. <laughs> so you're not gimmicky at all. I'm, I don't believe in no gimmicks. But yeah, right? but but you respect the fact that it, it, I it I respect a hundred percent, and I respect yeah. the business. I respect them getting their money, but I'm a nigga who had to get his shit out the mud. So it like, bro, what you come anyway? This shit gotta be one hundred. I don't even respect half of the young nigga rapping because these nigga ain't. No, I don't believe it. I don't believe none of this shit, bro. I know, man. That's crazy. So it's 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 kind of hard that people are hitting y'all up to do features. Like, you gotta laugh nobody. at that shit. Look at I, I, I like, literally laugh. <laughs> he ain't gonna say it. See, what pe- people think he even when I'm evil, bro. I laugh at all these niggas. I'm gonna say it right here on the radio. I don't give a fuck. I laugh at everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no bad. That'd be a crazy long list. And, it, and you know that they're doing it to like for whatever. And I don't believe whatever. in that. That's why I work with him yeah. and the people who I have worked with because I genuinely fuck with them in real life or I like their music. I would never work with nobody for no clout and none, mm. no numbers. I don't give a fuck. If we gonna make the biggest song. You finna pay me a hundred million? Mm. Might take a hundred million, but it's like, <laughs> like I'm just saying, I don't believe in that shit though. Like that's not what we stand on. <laughs> But for some reason, Drake comes out of nowhere and, and wants to fuck with y'all. It's, 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 like, again, it's like, oh, <laughs> Ooh, wrap it up, 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 wrap